What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, for a six liter, I really like that front end. That grill is sweet. Nothing but the best, number one. Today's video, I just wanted to talk about some of the common leak points for coolant on your six liter. So some of the common ones I see are starting in the first, the first one is, oh wow, look, we don't have a EGR cooler on this truck, but for those that you have the quick disconnect orange or newer style blue one, I often see those leak um, and get all crusty and you'll see coolant all down, uh, possibly around the bell housing or all in your engine valley. The other leak spot that I see is from this valve that uh, allows cooling, I'm sorry, hot coolant to go through the heater core. Um, it is adjusted, not adjusted, but operates off of a vacuum. And sometimes just this little plastic stuff gets all corroded and pretty much just starts cracking and leaking. So that's, that's the second spot. Okay, so the other leak point, you're gonna come over and um, I mean this is pretty much for the guys who do not have the cooling system pressure tester these are the most common leak points that I see um, if you see get my light just right this hose that is running next to your uh, fuel injection control module it is this one here the lower one it goes all the way over to the firewall and goes along the firewall to the heater core. Sometimes this hose likes to rest right on the end, the corner of the thickum. You guys can see the corner of it right there. Just barely wanting to touch. Let's see if I can get a different angle so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you guys can see the hose right, right there coming out the bottom of the degas. I'm sorry. This one right here. Follow that all the way back and you can see that it is not touching the thickum. You can see the corner of the thickum there. For the trucks that are hitting the thickum, what I do is pull this clamp back, take your hose and rotate this hose and put the clamp back. And when you rotate it, you're gonna see if I can Get this light back in there so you guys can see yeah perfect what you guys will wind up doing is you'll see this hose come up like this it'll be mashed down on the thickum but when you rotate the hose you can see how it just came up because it just naturally wants to be up the hose will be up here like that so it's a real quick easy thing to do if it's a little too close remember you're going down the road and it's bouncing and doing all this hey get you like another inch of play up in there and not have to replace that hose. It can be done, um, I've done it when it's hot, and it's a real pain, but um, you definitely can get it out of the truck without taking the turbo off. So since we're right over here, the fourth spot that I see is actually right at the degas bottle. It likes to crack right here. And I actually have one here on the table that I did not want to throw away because I wanted to use it for illustration. Okay, so here's the bottom of the degas bottle. And look, I mean, I don't even really have to show you guys with the light. You guys can see the crack. Check your degas bottle and see if you got a little crack that's starting to build. If you put a light down in this section, you'll be able to really see if there's any uh, fractures, you know, right in here. They've start off small and I just see them grow like all the way to here is where I've seen it so um, yeah that's the fourth spot and uh, let me show you spot number five all right we're on the back this one I do not see oh look at that no way King Ranch 2020 six seven I want it this one doesn't usually happen I have seen it a few times so that's why I want to I want to bring it to everybody's attention but you can see 
where I'm laying down, here's the lower hose. And if you look, this one's actually hitting it, barely. You can see the lower hose almost on the steering gear. Um, and this one has a protective shielding over it. I can see, well, I can't really get you a good shot, but you can get the point. Um, the gear pretty much rubs a hole right where this plastic this plastic convolute is on this hose. Um, this is a stock hose, so it came like that from the factory. I don't know if you guys want to go and check your truck to see how close it is to your your uh, steering gear. But uh, yeah, that's that's coolant leak number five. Just wanted to drop a quick vid for everybody trying to keep their six liters on the road. My second favorite, besides the six seven, which is my number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. If anybody's leaked from five, four, three, two, or one on their six liter, um, drop me a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you have already hasn't. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. See ya.